One of the most electric wide receivers from the 2021 season has officially entered the transfer portal. Yes, we are talking about Jordan Addison from Pitt. Is it possible that he goes to Miami? What's going on Canes fans? Yes, welcome back to another outdoor video with Coop. It's just too nice of a day here in East Tennessee for me to spend the majority of my time cooped up in the studio. So I'm literally chilling outside in my backyard, sitting on a bucket, <laughs> talking about Miami Hurricanes football and the transfer portal. So uh, sit tight before you click off this video before you you know you're like what the heck is this man doing sitting out in his backyard why am i watching this this is very important this is a hot topic this is something we need to discuss because jordan addison former pit wide receiver has officially entered the transfer portal and boy oh boy does every big team in the country want this guy and it went from uh People saying that it was rumored that USC offered him upwards of $5 million and a free house in California to now he's in California, but he's working out with Alabama quarterback Bryce Young to the Ruiz family is actively working on an NIL deal to bring him to Miami. And then now Georgia is in the mix trying to replace some of their receivers. Maybe Texas is in there. Clemson is possibly in there. Uh, so it's just absolutely wild. But there's no denying how big of an impact Jordan Addison could have wh whatever team he goes to. And especially the impact that he could have here at Miami with the current wide receiver room that we have. But let's talk about Addison for just a moment. And I'm going to tell you guys my opinion on if I think that we get him, if we don't get him. And we're going to talk about... The, the pros and cons, what Miami has going for us to try to potentially land Jordan Addison. So Addison last season had 100 catches for 1,593 yards and 17 touchdowns. And by the way, 17 touchdowns was the most by any wide receiver in the country last season. And yardage? fourth most in the country by any wide receiver. So the guy put up huge numbers in 2021. Now, also keep in mind that he did have Kenny Pickett throwing him the ball, uh, who was, you know, a, a pretty accurate quarterback. Uh, but the dude is electric. He's great at creating space. And uh, he, he's a sure-handed wide receiver man and excellent at picking up yards after the catch as we already discussed everybody wants him but he is officially in the transfer portal and miami is you know we're looking for somebody to step up on the outside for us uh i mean restrepo has really kind of stepped up in the slot we we saw that in the spring game and we heard all the talk throughout spring but there were still a lot of dropped balls in that group and we're still looking for another guy to step up and be the number one target for Tyler Van Dyke. And Jordan Addison could be that guy. But what does Miami have going for us? What's a, a pro for Miami that would maybe get Jordan Addison to look our way? Number one, the Ruiz family is in fact working on some type of NIL deal to approach Addison with or maybe to offer him. And we have been doing it the right way. The Ruiz family is going through their business, Life Wallet. Uh, we've seen a lot of negativity surrounding NIL deals over the past few days. A lot of investigations have been launched and other various things when it comes to boosters trying to bring people in. But guys, we're good. Miami has been doing things the right way. We have a guy who has a background in law and we're good, man. We're good. We don't have to worry about it. So we could have, you know, a good juicy nil deal prepared for this guy which talks of course uh, so we have that going our way uh, going into 2022 we have possibly one of the top quarterbacks in the country now this is of course is going off of the performance we saw last season and assuming that tbd only improves in 2022 uh, but this is a guy who was coming from an offense that was run by kenny pickett 
So having another guy like Tyler Van Dyke throwing him the ball would be huge. And I think that Addison would fit in well with Josh Gaddis' scheme that he's implementing and installing here at Miami. He would 100% be our number one receiver. He would be the number one target in our offense. And having a guy like Tyler Van Dyke with his accuracy and his arm strength throwing the ball would only improve your NFL resume, right? And also, of course, one of the big pros is, well, going from the Pittsburgh Panthers to Miami when it comes to location, right? South Beach, uh, sunny weather. Jordan Addison is from Maryland. So, you know, I mean, I, location also plays a part. Uh, there's a reason why he's out in California right now, right? Uh, so that would also be big for us. But when it comes to cons, honestly, the only two things I can really think of is that Addison has no ties to Miami. So at USC, uh, there were rumors that he might go there because he, the quarterback at USC is one of his good friends. And players do recruit players. This happens all the time, and it works really well. I mean, if you have a buddy that you grew up with, you guys were best buds, or you played football together in middle school or high school or something like that, it does matter to be able to go play ball with one of your friends. Uh, so there's there's nothing tying Addison to Miami other than the fact that, I mean, Pitt played Miami, so he played in the same conference in the ACC. But that's also another con because rumor has it I have a couple of, of, of birds in my ear as well, and I've been told that Addison wants to go to a different conference. Basically, he wants out of the ACC, uh, and I don't know that it necessarily matters if it's SEC or a Big Ten or Big 12 or wherever else we're talking about, but I think that he wants, he wants a change of scenery, but not necessarily, when I say scenery, I don't mean location, I mean conference. So I think that he's looking to kind of venture out and play somewhere outside of the ACC. Now, at the end of the day, again, actual physical location and money does talk. So we have a lot of things going our way. But again, we are competing right now with USC, Alabama, Georgia, Texas A&M, Clemson, and LSU. Again, everybody in the country would take Jordan Addison on their team. You best believe it. So there's some heavy hitters in there, but luckily, you know, I kind of consider us a heavy hitter now when it comes to money and uh, a couple of other things. But there's also a huge question mark for Miami. Let's be honest. We don't want to talk about this, and you guys don't like hearing it as much as I don't like hearing it, but as hype as we are about Mario and this star-studded staff we've brought in, we don't truly know what to expect in 2022, and that's kind of a scary thing. You know, that's the, it's unfamiliar. Uh, we don't know if the chemistry is going to be there. Now at USC, you know, that's a whole different ball game too because you got Lincoln Riley and, you know, a lot of new faces there as well. Uh, so let's just get down to the nitty gritty. Let's talk based off of things that I've heard. It's extremely early. Only, only Addison knows truly what he's thinking. And honestly, right now, if I could be real, I don't think Addison even knows. Even he don't know where he's going to go yet because this journey is just starting, right? You're going to field offers. You're going to hear them out. So not even Addison and his family knows. But I hate to burst your bubble. I think that Addison does not go to Miami. If I had to guess, I'm thinking actually that he does go to USC or I believe he might go to Georgia. And then from there, possibly Alabama, because Georgia has some question marks at the wide receiver position. Look at how many guys went to the NFL from Georgia. What was it, like 15 to 18 players? Um, this guy's thinking about, he's, he's thinking about NIL stuff. He's thinking about putting some money in his pocket immediately, but he's also gonna be thinking about, you know, one and done and then go to the NFL. So what increases his chances the most to make the NFL? There's so many question marks at Miami. He would be the number one wide receiver. He would have a good, solid quarterback. But we don't know for sure how this Josh Gaddis offense is going to look here. You know? So I think there's too many question marks at Miami. I think he wants out of the ACC. I think that he goes to USC or Georgia. 
and then Alabama is also a possibility. Uh, I know it's not a popular opinion, and would I love to have Jordan Addison? Oh, baby, I would love it. That guy would eat here at the University of Miami. And having him out there with Restrepo and then, you know, pick any one of the other wide receivers that you want to plug in, uh, man, the guy would have a killer season here at Miami. But I just don't think that Jordan Addison becomes a Miami Hurricane. Let me know down in the comment section below how you guys feel about it. Remember though, guys, we're all one big happy college football family, but at the end of the day, I gotta say, it's always better when you get to rep the U. And Jordan Addison, if you wanna come be a Miami Hurricane, my man, we will welcome you with open arms. You best believe it. Coach Coop, peace out.